Meow meow. Hi. Meet Daytona. I adopted him from Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina. Uh, we're currently in Denver, Colorado. We bounce around a bit. And uh, he's just hanging out. He's got a bow tie now. Oh, yeah. And uh, he also has a sister, which you will get to meet in a later video. Um, and I kind of wanted to show you his hangout. So uh, this is a basement window. And I wanted plants instead of curtains. And I think this arrangement worked out pretty good. So we have plants. And then we have this goofy thing. So this is actually rope. And uh, it's a board attached there and there at these shelves. And then I have rope wrapped around it. And that is for Mr. Daytona here. Uh, and so he can actually hang out above the bed. And he can hang out on the shelves. These are not for me. These are for him. Uh, and the poor Christmas cactus that is kind of mad at me right now. But he can uh, eat his food and drink his own water away from the other animals and hang out and have a good time. He loves to sit in the window and sometimes go through the window screen. Don't you, buddy? You love to go through the window screen. There was one morning where he was outside the window and decided to have a fight with another cat. And I went through the window screen. Huh, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, why do you let your cat outside? And it wasn't really my choice, I guess. Uh, when I adopted him, he really wanted to go out because the people that owned him before let him outside. And he loves to go do his business outside, and that's what's natural, so I don't blame him for that. Um, I have since trained him at staying in the yard, so he can go do his thing outside, and as long as he stays in the yard, we're okay with it. Uh, otherwise, I have to literally go herd cats, right, and, and herd him inside. Um, but this doesn't happen that often, and we haven't brought home any more animals since, so that's good. But uh, he loves to chase bugs and eat moths and all kinds of things. And in case you were wondering what this was made out of, it's all 2x4s that you get from the hardware store and some deck screws. And I just sanded uh, the 2x4s with like 320, you know, to make them smooth. And then stained them this color because that's what color my desk is. So it actually matches the desk. Yeah, he loves this thing. <laughs> 